Gametogenesis refers to the production of gametes by meiosis. Spermatogenesis is the production of mature sperm. First, primordial germ cell and embryo give rise to spermatogonial stem cell which in turn give rise to spermatogonium through mitosis. Spermatogonium then generates primary spermatocyte through mitosis. Diploid primary spermatocyte then divides into haploid secondary spermatocyte through meiosis 1. And through meiosis 2, secondary spermatocytes divides into early spermatids which undergo extensive changes in differentiating into sperm. In the hormonal control of the male reproductive system, the hypothalamus secretes gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which stimulates the anterior pituitary to secrete FSH or follicle-stimulating hormone and LH or luteinizing hormone. FSH promotes the activity of Sertoli cells, which nourish developing sperm and promote spermatogenesis. LH regulates Leydig cells, which secretes testosterone, which also promotes spermatogenesis. Testosterone regulates the production of GnRH, FSH, and LH through negative feedback mechanisms. Sertoli cells also secrete the hormone inhibin, which reduces FSH secretion from the anterior pituitary. The sperm has three segments. The head includes acrosome, which contains enzymes that help sperm penetrate an egg, as well as haploid nucleus. The midpiece contains many mitochondria that provide ATP for movement of the flagellar tail. Oogenesis refers to the development of mature oocytes or eggs and can take many years. Oogenesis begins in the female embryo with the production of oogonia from primordial germ cells through mitosis. The oogonia then divide by mitosis to form primary oocytes that begin mitosis but stop the process at prophase 1 before birth. Beginning at puberty, FSH stimulates one follicle to mature each month. The primary oocyte completes meiosis 1, forming the secondary oocyte which is arrested at metaphase 2. The secondary oocyte only completes meiosis 2 upon sperm entry after ovulation, creating a fertilized egg, a process known as conception. After ovulation, the remaining follicle develops into corpus luteum. If the egg is not fertilized, corpus luteum eventually degenerates. In the case of conception, the zygote begins to divide by mitosis in a process called cleavage as it travels down the oviduct, giving rise to a blastocyst or a bowl of cells with cavity. After blastocyst formation, the embryo implants into the endometrium. The embryo releases human chorionic gonadotropin, which mimics the luteinizing hormone and produces stable progesterone, which prevents menstruation. Pregnancy or gestation is the condition of carrying one or more embryos in the uterus. It can be divided into three trimesters. A drug called mifepristone or RU486 can terminate pregnancy non-surgically within the first seven weeks by blocking progesterone receptors in the uterus, thus preventing progesterone from maintaining the pregnancy. During its first two to four weeks, the embryo obtains nutrients directly from endometrium. Meanwhile, the trophoblast mingles with the endometrium and eventually forms the placenta. The first trimester is also the main period of organogenesis or the development of body organs. All the major structures are present by eight weeks and the embryo is called a fetus. Several changes occur in the mother as well, including the growth of placenta, cessation of ovulation and menstrual cycle, breast enlargement, and nausea. Genetic disorders can be determined by CVS or chorionic villus sampling, or sample cells from the placenta. Prenatal testing during the second trimester include amniocentesis, in which the amniotic fluid is removed from the uterus for testing or treatment. During the second trimester, the fetus grows and is very active. Hormone levels stabilize as human chorionic gonadotropin secretion declines. The corpus luteum deteriorates, and the placenta completely takes over the production of progesterone. Labor refers to the process by which childbirth occurs. It involves three main steps. The dilation of the cervix, the delivery of the infant through expulsion, and finally the delivery of the placenta. Birth or parturition is brought about by a series of strong rhythmic uterine contractions, and it is regulated by several hormones. 
First, ovaries secrete estradiol, which induces oxytocin receptors on uterus. Next, oxytocin secreted from fetus and mother's posterior pituitary stimulates the uterus to contract, as well as stimulating the placenta to make prostaglandins, which stimulate more uterine contractions. Prostaglandins play a role in the positive feedback loop that stimulates the placenta to make more of it, as well as stimulating increase in oxytocin production. Contraception is the deliberate prevention of pregnancy and can be achieved in a number of ways. Female hormonal contraceptive often involves synthetic estrogen and progestin, which mimics the negative feedback in ovarian cycle, lowering luteinizing hormone and blocks ovulation. Tubal ligation involves sealing shut or tying off a section of each oviduct to prevent eggs from traveling into the uterus. Spermicides, diaphragm, and progestin can prevent sperm movement through the female reproductive tract. The morning after pill and intrauterine device or IUD can interfere with fertilization and implantation. In men, vasectomy is the cutting and tying off of each vas deferens to prevent sperm from entering the urethra. It is similar to tubal ligation in women. Fertilization can also be prevented by abstinence from sexual intercourse. Wearing condom, which is a thin latex rubber that fits over the penis to collect the semen. Coitus interruptus refers to the removal of penis from the vagina before ejaculation. It's a very unreliable way to prevent fertilization. Modern technology can provide infertile couples with assisted reproductive technologies. In vitro fertilization or IVF, Mixes eggs with sperm in cultured dishes and returns the embryo to uterus at the 8 cell stage. Another method includes intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, in which sperm are injected directly into an egg. 